We're in a big old tree. It's quite strange because I'm actually quite comfortable <laughs> and I hate heights. <laughs> I always ask the tree nicely if it doesn't mind us climbing it. Is that okay, Bob? Do you mind if we climb you today? You've been very good. I think Bob's down with it. <laughs> For me, it, it reminds me of being a kid again because it's like being out playing. <laughs> Remember years ago when you were just told to get out of the house and the summertime and you'd go out and you'd be out all day. That's what it feels like. It's quiet. I mean, it's hard to believe, you know, there's a city right there. Whoa. You're really getting outside of your ordinary everyday life, as it were. You can leave a lot of your problems on the ground and you can spend your time in the moment on rope and in the canopy, communing with a big, beautiful living thing that's holding you up. Everything else seems a million miles away right now. I don't know how long I've been up here, but <laughs> I think I missed a meeting this morning. <laughs> it takes a little more time because you have to kind of deliver training more than doing it for people. You have to explain to people how they do it for themselves but it's easy to keep an eye on everything and make sure everything's configured correctly. I would like to think I could get a couple more in this tree and we would still be all be very safely socially distanced. With trees, you are actually being supported by a big living thing. Sometimes they tickle you, sometimes they scratch you, um, but you can feel the life in them. So how do you feel now you're back on the ground? <laughs> very happy. It's so low tech, it's so safe, and it's, it's absolutely amazing. Do you know how high up you are? I do now. <laughs> You're miles up.